From the 3rd to the 9th of April 2017, the Base Gallery London presents There Will Be Fire. Three London artists. Lisa Sharma. You can find her on Facebook. Turning it into dubstep by adding this noise. First, without the microphone, listen. Thank you. So everything is just my voice. The microphone and speaker are only here so you can all hear me at the same time. So check this out. I'm Lisa, Lisa Sharma. Yeah? Five days. So what's what's your work based on? Okay, it's all about my experiences being a mother. Yes. Um, so it's about um, that that routine of um, providing food and that nurturing. And so I had this idea that all I could see was lots of plates, and this idea of feeding people, and that continuous circle and cycle. So I, I, I wanted to do it in clay, so I like the material, I like the texture and the marks and the rawness of it. And so each plate has a, like almost a little story in it as well. So most of the plates have three items, got three children, and there's little bits of Lego pressed in. There's little textures and things that link to the children. There's yeah. dates on there. So, so, so your art is very expressive. It's about handling and touching as well. Handling. So the materials is. When I'm using the materials, it's all about the rawness and how it feels and the marks that, make, that, I'm, that I'm making. I don't really like things that look too perfect or too smooth. Yeah, a bit like Andy Yeah, so it's all bumpy and lumpy and, and moving and, and I, I like to see clay look like clay. So I could have glazed it, but I chose not to. Because I like the, um, the red of the clay and then the different colours mixing yeah. together. So some of the clay um, plates have white clay on them and then red clay mixed in. I'm also, uh, I was trained as a, an illustrator, so in painting. So I like to use the um, clay almost as like paint. So how are you working as an illustrator? Um, that is not something that I pursued. I'm more, at the moment, um, my main sort of title as such is a teacher, yes. and an art teacher. Um, I chose to pursue that more as um, my career, yeah. um, but my work, um, why, did you, why did you decide to choose that more as your career? Um, because I love teaching, I love sharing, I love um, inspiring others. Yes. I, I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. But the, the reason for the show and doing the work is that I miss doing it myself. Uh -huh. And, you know, I had this. That desire it's come to yeah. practice. Yeah, and just, I'm, I was missing that, missing that making. And yeah. I'm. You know, most of this work has been um, produced since October last yeah. year, and really, um, absolutely loved it. And and I've got lots of ideas for other work that's going to come from it. Um, it's the right time. You have a joint exhibition with the other Yes, Down we're well. yes we're planning on doing one each year, yes. making it a yearly thing now. Uh -huh. um, we work very well together as a team of teachers. Yes. So there's a lot of crossing and sharing of ideas and discussing our work. Yeah, um, that's when, when creative minds can work together. Fantastic. Really, really enjoyable. And so we see it as a, a beginning of a new type of uh, relationship where we're working as teachers and artists yes. and we'd like to pursue that and push it. Okay. So really, really exciting. Really enjoying it. So how long have you been doing this work? Um, the clay work? Yeah. This is all very recent. Um, so really, I've started this since, since September last year. So how long have you been teaching? Teaching? I've been teaching since 1996. Oh, okay. So that's, 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 that's been my passion. So um, you're helping young people here as well. You're the, the young people in the gallery because they're on YouTube. That's it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've, uh, yeah, I, I see myself as a mum, a teacher, an artist. It's yeah. all those roles all mixed in together. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm in my 40s now. So okay. it's, it's this point where I've I reached. I scary birthdays last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's 
<laughs> but it's, it's, I think you get to a certain point. For yeah. me, it was, I needed something new it's and a refresher. And want you to do things on a daily basis, actually, rather than waste time now. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels like I've given my time to my children. Yeah. I've given my time to my um, pupils. Uh -huh. And then it was like, what am I giving for me? And now this is the beginning of that. And you're also giving something for the future as well. Sorry, said that again? You're also giving something for the future as well. Because you're yes. Teaching yeah, and that's it. It's uh, and move forward. Definitely. I mean, that that is, is. There's so many segments to it, and I, I think there's so many different. And my work is a bit like that. There's yeah. lots of. It's talking about lots of different roles and and giving and sharing and and things that happen as being a mother, a teacher, an artist. Yeah. And so it's it's a nice collaboration of everything, really. Yeah. What uh, school are you teaching at? Are you are you all teaching at? We're all teaching at Blenheim High School in Epsom. Uh -huh. Do you want to wait to everybody there? Hi! <laughs> Thanks a lot, cheers. That's Thanks. okay, nice you're very welcome. Yeah. Thanks to Five Base Gallery London and the three artists Alexander Basic, Lisa Sharma, Mr. Luke Branca. You can find Lisa Sharma on Facebook. Thanks to the outstanding acoustic sound of Intensit. You can find him on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. This has been a Chris Summerfield video production 2017. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com. And if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can PayPal me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's a lifestyle thing.